Okay guys, so what we're going to do today is just do a real simple um, like spawning system. Um, for this purpose I'm going to use it for like uh, spawning in enemies that can do whatever you want them to do afterwards. <laughs> and um, But you know you can use it for anything else uh, that you might want to spawn into a game uh, at a particular location. So um, what I'm going to be spawning in is this character guy here and I'm just going to get him to spawn in at different locations and then kind of come after me. Um, just an opportunity to show you um, this website here where I got this from and where you could get other things from as well. It's called kenny.nl. Um, it's just a useful website to get some totally free uh, low poly 3D models for uh, from. Sorry, so there's a couple of pages of them, uh, particularly these characters, which you can kind of use for multiple things. Um, if you don't have models of your own or you're not confident with modeling, um, it's good to have some free ones. Uh, that work well. So anyway, that's that website. So here we go. What we're going to do first of all is create the thing that you're going to be spawning in if you haven't created it already. So for me, I'm spawning in a character I'm going to call enemy AI. And the mesh there is going to be this character that I already have in here. Uh, it's a bit large at the moment, so I'm going to just scale that down and remember to rotate, if you've got like a character or something, make sure it's facing the direction of this arrow here because the arrow shows uh, the front. So that's fine. So we've got an enemy AI. I'm just going to put a little bit of script here um, to make it chase after me just so that something's happening. So um, begin play. It's going to cast to the first person character. Get player, not control it. <clears throat> Get player character, and then it's just going to AI move to it's something real simple. Uh, it's self that's moving, and the target's going to move to is this. So it's going to move towards the first person character uh, when it spawns in. OK, um, but again, this could be totally different depending on whatever you're using this for. The actual spawning itself, how that's going to work, a super easy way of doing things. I'm going to add in a target point. OK, and this is going to be wherever uh, you want your, your object to spawn into the game. So I'm going to put it over here in the corner. That's fine. Target points look like that. OK, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here into the level blueprint itself. Um, and I'm going to go event tick because it's going to be checking every frame of the game. It's going to be a delay, so that can allow us to control the timing that it's going to be spawning in. So if I put a two here, it's going to be spawning in every two seconds. OK, um, again, you might want that to happen very, very infrequently, or you might want it to be happening really quickly, totally up to you. And then what it's going to do is it's going to spawn. Uh, now with spawning, just to say, you've got two options. You've got spawn actor from class. Um, if you're just spawning in something that's an actor blueprint, it's not going to have any sort of AI to it. Or you can spawn in AI from class, which is what I'm going to use because my uh, enemy is going to be moving around. So the pawn class we're going to be using is going to be this enemy AI. And um, what we want to do from here is just ensure you've got your target point selected so that when you right click here, you get create a reference to target point. OK, and we're going access to that because we are in the level blueprint. OK, you wouldn't get that anywhere else. Um, we also want to just turn off context sensitive and get the world location. OK, I can link those two up, creates this root component for us and then return value to the location. OK, so that's going to every two seconds spawn one of these AIs at the location of this target point. OK, when that's obviously spawned in, it's going to then you know add this in and refer to this uh, blueprint here. Um, 
what I need to do though, because this isn't AI, and this is something that people forget a lot, um, this isn't going to work at the moment because if I come over here, this um, auto possess AI is called placed in the world. So if I just had it already on my map, it would work. But if it's spawned in, it's not going to work unless I change this to placed in world or spawned. Okay, that means it's going to do its thing if it's in there in the first place or if it's been spawned in. Okay, so that's really important. Uh, the last thing I need to do actually is I just need to have in a nav mesh because it needs to do the pathfinding. Again, if yours is just a, a non-moving object that's spawning in, you wouldn't have to do any of this bit. Okay, that's fine. So let's test it, push play. So over there you can see it's spawning in and then they are then just moving towards me one after another until you know I haven't got anything set up to like destroy them or anything so they're just going to keep on spawning and forever at this point obviously you could put animations on and all sorts but that's just a real simple way of doing things so if for example I wanted them to spawn from multiple locations what I can do is add in a second target point so put this one over this side so this one's known as target point two I can go back to my level blueprint again. And for my event tick, now all I need to do is just add in a sequence. Um, remember, this is just an easy way of doing things without having to use like arrays and all kind of more complicated things like that. And then I can just copy and paste all this, link that up to there. So again, these could be different. One could be on two seconds, one could be, let's put this every one second and obviously we just need to change this target point to the other one so make sure i've got that selected which i do and then turn context sensitive back on and then we can get target point two for that one great so it's got you know and then however many more of these you wanted you could just add more of these pins on okay so i test that now like these guys over here are spawning in every one second, these guys every two. Okay, and obviously you could have a much larger map where these are scattered all across the map, so you're not seeing that point where they magically appear. Normally that happens kind of out of view of the player. Okay, but um, that's it really, really simple way of spawning things into the game. Um, and then from you know, from that is going to be down to whatever you want to do it, do with it once it's spawned in. Okay, hopefully that's useful. See you later.